Tyler Pace and today I'm sharing my favorite healthy veggie bread recipe that is raw, vegan, gluten-free, grain-free, paleo, could easily be made keto as well, super delish, and then I'm gonna turn it into a roasted eggplant and veggie sandwich that's really, really yummy. So let's hop in the kitchen, I can't wait to show you how. So here are the ingredients, really simple. I've got some zucchini, carrots, an onion, these are sunflower seeds that have been soaked for about an hour and then rinsed and drained. Ground yellow flax seed. This is better than the dark stuff because it has a more neutral flavor and I think it just, the color looks better when the bread is done. Some water, olive oil, Himalayan salt, and tamari. So that is it. So I'm gonna start by shredding my zucchini. processor and I'm going to grind them down to small little bits, not puree. I'm going to pulse it. Looking good. Show you what this looks like. Should look just like that. Oh, I'm starting to cry. And here it goes. So that is my. So now I'm going to add my sunflower seeds in. And I'm gonna grind them up. Grind, grind, grind. Just like that. Scrape it down. So here's the kind of consistency you want here. And in a pinch, you absolutely do not have to soak these. You can grind them dry. No problemo. Okay, just like that. Now adding the sunflower seeds in. And now I'm adding in all my other ingredients. Okay, getting my hand in there. I always say, hands are a chef's best tool. Ah, screw it, I'm going in with both hands. Now we're talking, oh yeah. So here's what the mixture looks like. You can tell it can kind of hold together like that. Now I'm gonna spread the mixture on my dehydrator trays. This is an Excalibur dehydrator. I love it, I've had it for years. So this is the Tough Black sheet here that I'll spread the dough on and then later I'll flip it onto the mesh screen so that the air can hit both sides. I will show you. So I'm gonna divide the mixture in half. One tray. And this is a large offset spatula that I'm using to spread out the mixture here. Just kind of keep turning the tray around as you spread. You can find your own way. This is what I find to be easiest. So now that it's all smoothed out, I'm going to score it. So generally I like to do nine on a tray, so here we go. I'm just gonna score lightly. You don't have to go all the way through. This is just really gonna help with cutting it later and it's going to speed the drying process a bit. Now, pop it in the dehydrator. There they are. It is going on. Over here to the dials, I'm gonna start at 145 for one hour and then I'm gonna turn it down to about 120 and I will set my timer here. Here's what they look like after five hours. So you can tell that they're definitely starting to dry out. And now I'm gonna flip it over onto the mesh screen. So here's how I do it. I take the screen, I put it over like this. This is hard with one hand and then I flipped the whole thing over. Woo! I <laughs> guess that hard with one hand. This off. And then I will peel. 
peel this off. There we go. It is done, my friends. Look at that. I flipped this one over because, see here, it kind of curls up a little bit. So I flipped this one right over so that it doesn't curl. But yeah, a nice pliable bread. And because of the scoring, I can easily cut this. roasted eggplant to go on my sandwich because this is one of my favorite veggies and it is so good on a sandwich when it's all roasted up. I'm going to leave the skin on here. I'm going to trim the ends and then I'm going to do kind of thick slices I guess like half an inch thick. Yeah because we want it to be kind of meaty. I've got my baking tray here. You want to oil the tray, glug, glug, glug. It likes oil, okay, and it likes salt. So don't be afraid of oil, okay guys? Now let's coat it here, each side, okay? Trust me, it's gonna be so good. So now this pan is obviously nice and greased. Arrange them here. You can do several eggplants at once. We need some salt. I am going to generously put some salt on each one. Okay, now we've got to flip them over. We have to salt the other side. They've been baking for 15 minutes. Now I am going to flip them over and then continue baking them. And woo! There we go. So these are looking really nice. The most important thing though, is that we wanna make sure we can easily pierce with a fork or a knife. So here are my sandwich fillings today. This is what I had in the fridge. Orange bell pepper, romaine, cucumber, pea shoots, my favorite green dip. I already shared a recipe video for this. I keep it on hand in the fridge all the time avocado and some tahini and then of course the eggplant. Okay, let's do this. important moment has arrived, the official taste test. And I am more than ready for this. I'm super hungry right now. But check this thing out, right? It is stacked high. I don't know if you can tell. Giving you the close up here. Oh yes. Okay, I'm digging in. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> this bread, I'm telling you, you have to make it. All those flavors come through. I like that it's still, you know, really soft and pliable. And then all the veggies. You can use whatever veggies you have. I know whatever you have in the, fr in the fridge. Mm. The full recipe is down below in the description box, so go give it a try. Let me know what recipes you wanna see next time. And connect with me on Instagram where I post every single day. I'll see you next time, bye. Well, I've made it to the last few bites of this thing, and let me tell you, this was a big sandwich. Mmm. But I made it. <laughs>